Hey, what is going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're actually making a tier list of your favorite crypto mining content creators, right? We're rating their systems, their actual computer systems that they might sit at when they're doing possibly live streams or just general work uh, on their day to day. Now, not all systems are going to be as some as baller as others, and I don't have every crypto mining content creator involved just yet, but I do plan on expanding further, and I invite other creators to join me uh, and allow me to create content rating their systems or their desk setups. We're looking at their entire desk. Now, there might be a little roasting in this, but all respect to nothing but my fellow colleagues in the space. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first setup we have is CCXD or Chump Change XD. Now, this is a baller setup in my opinion. He's got the light right in the middle here if we zoom in. The, Z, uh, the Sony ZV-1, a camera that I recommended to a lot of my content creators out there uh, when asked. Uh, we got dual monitors or four monitors, but two monitors are paired. So we got two ASUS here at the bottom. Uh, looks like a curved monitor. I'm not sure of the exact make. And then we have two more Acer. So two Acer and two ASUS making up the four monitor combo. We got the wife pocket change and chump changes. Uh, little mascots here looking really cute. And then we have a Raspberry Pi uh, SNES, their keyboard, no numlock. I, I, I traditionally like a keyboard with numlock. Uh, we got our soundboard, uh, Elgato, our stream deck. Uh, so looking really good. Razer mouse. I hate these mouse pads. I don't particularly, I'm not particularly fond of them. Like RGB is cool. Uh, but that's a little bit too much for me. That that mouse pad, if I because the my system is in my room, uh, would drive me crazy at night. So because this is not in their room, I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine. And then we can see their system there in the background. So overall, really nice. Uh, we got a Diablo 2 uh, Punko Fop, Dark Wander up top. So really good job overall uh, in their setup. Uh, I love the way they got their camera mounted and their light mounted. Uh, we're going to move on to another system picture. Uh, we got the frontal view or direct on. It looks like we got a sure microphone right here. Really good microphone to use for, for live streaming or just to capture. And then a full-on shot of their system. This is pretty cool. Um, so looks like we got some bits power, I want to say. No, cool ants. Yeah, so cool ants, water cooling. Uh, this is a quick disconnect right here. Again, the mascot up front. Um... If I were chump change, I would take off this power supply sticker. It's not that big of a deal, but just takes away from the aesthetics of the system. Uh, looks like this is a, what is this, an Asus case? Is this an Asus case? Because I see some of the Asus ROG branding right here. Misfit Mining representing. Uh, MSI. Is that a GPU SAG bracket? It almost looks like a wireless card. A wireless, uh, excuse me, wireless antenna. That's right here is what this looks like. Why I'm not sure why that's in the system, but if the system's on the desk, which it is, um, then okay, that works. That works. Uh, we got these connectors here, uh, right angle connectors to you know kind of neatly and nicely route the uh, VGA uh, power, you know, so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Another looks like another quick disconnect up here by the CP or going from the CPU block towards the res or the secondary. Do we have two radiators? No, we got one radiator, one fat radiator up front. And then I don't see another, another radiator up top. So those are just fans up the top and the bottom. Good MSI motherboard. I want to say that's a creator motherboard, but I could be wrong. I can't quite make out the print. And some of the guys gave us the specs like I asked, but I'm not going to go over in too much detail. Yeah, this is the MSI Meg. Uh, could be the um, X570 motherboard series. I don't think he upgraded to the 7000 series, but I could be wrong. Um, but it looks really clean. EK water blocks on the GPU and CPU. And then we got an EK reservoir. Oh, so overall, just an awesome, awesome build. Uh, before we move on, let's rate chump change real quick where would you guys rate chump changes setup 
I want to hear from you down in the comments below. But just for starters, just for right now, we're going to go ahead and put chump change in the S tier area. Now, I am going to be sharing this on uh, social media. I don't know why it spun it, but let's go ahead and move that guy. So chump change is going to get on the S tier, but you are free to comment and choose what you think. Moving on, we're going to move on to what we have here is Hawk Mining. Hawk Crypto Mining. Um, my brother from the South. Again, great um, stream quality control, right? Because you got your soundboard right here. Nice keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure what specific keyboard that is. Then we have a Corsair RGB mouse mat, similar to probably what I think Chump Change might be using. They might be using the Razer instead of uh, Corsair. Uh, we got the mouse, lightweight mouse. Uh, actually, one of the best uh, mice out there. Um, and then we have, again, a Sure microphone, good connection. The camera looks like a DLSR, I want to say, in the background here on, on a camera stand. So it's it's on the desk, uh, which can be problematic, you know, if you bump into the desk while you're recording. Uh, the desk is adjustable. We can see the controls down here in the bottom right. The desk is, is height adjustable. Uh, I'm not sure what this box is, but this looks like a like a mini node or maybe a mini computer or something. I don't think it's a stand. I think he's using, uh, you know, monitor uh, stands to kind of keep them where they are. But we got our portrait and landscape set up so we can monitor everything, maybe track stocks or sports on here or the weather and then work on these two. Really good. Looks like LG all around. I can't see. Yeah, LG all around. All three of the same monitors. You guys are going to hate me or my setup because I do not have all monitors the same make and model. I am not that picky, but these guys are looking pretty good. I like this gray desk or this gray wood here. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, then we take a look at the system. So it looks like we got the EK AIO instead of the custom loop that Chump Change has. Uh, we got an EVGA for the Win 3 uh, 3090. So pretty stout setup here. Uh, we're rocking, it looks like Gigabyte Aorus. And I like the Gigabyte Aorus motherboards. Um, pretty. I, I like them. Period. I I like them. They're pretty good. Rocking some Corsair Dominators. RGB setup looks really good. The whole lighting and syncing of everything looks pretty good. Can't see the power supply or anything like that. Uh, but this is a pretty pretty stout setup. Uh, this is probably gonna be I think X570 as well. Um, or actually no, this might be the new bad boy. I could I do believe they upgraded to the the 7000 series from Ryzen. Uh, so this might be X670. Um, and just like me, I'm all, he's only rocking two sticks of memory because memory for DDR5, especially at the speeds we want, 6,000 or above, can be a little bit pricey. But nice little setup overall. Those are the only two pictures that I have from my buddy um, Hawk. Before we move on, let's go ahead and rate them. And we're going to put Hawk uh, in the A... I want to kind of put them in the A or B tier, um, but it is certainly certainly up there. Let's move on to the next uh, content creator, the Hobbyist Miner. Everybody should know the Hobbyist Miner. Got the nice little pup chilling down there in the bottom left. Never too far away. Nice keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a custom-built keyboard. Again, with the lightweight mouse, you can see here. Uh, again, very popular. Got the laptop stand. Um Honestly, the speakers don't do it justice. Uh, could use better speakers here. I'm pretty sure everybody has this thermal uh, thermostat or um, temperature gauge uh, for their setups and rigs. You can see he's hard at work, not only monitoring stocks, keeping up with Discord, but also editing videos. Uh, not sure where that stand is connected to, but I love this wooden desk, and I love the fact that it's adjustable, another adjustable desk. Um, speakers are kind of letting down the, the, the entire aesthetics uh, down. And again, the camera is on the desk. So if he was recording live stream or videos and he bumped into the desk or some type of vibration happens that's going to impact, obviously you can use image stabilization and editing, uh, but no big deal. Just something I would be concerned about. Then he has the uh, Elgato light stands. I'm not sure where the second one is. There's usually a pair of them, but the Elgato light stands got the Logitech 922 
Uh, and again, the Shure microphone, everybody's rocking that. Look at, look at the blue arm stand. This is a very popular thing. So not only does Sony ZV-1, which is the camera that the Hobbyist Miner is also using, uh, was one of my rec recommended cameras for, you know, hobbyists, uh, no pun intended, uh, bloggers, video content creators to get in. It's not too expensive. It's a mirrorless camera, not a DLSR. Uh, while that was also recommended, Sure was recommended as well. Now, I don't have a Sure, but I do have a blue microphone stand, which you see a lot of these content creators using, and it looks really good. I love the graphics. These graphics that you see here in the top left is actually designed, I believe, by hobbyists themselves uh don't quote me on that but they have some great designs on their shirts and they're available to the public we got a monster we got a water keeping the wallet nearby and some notes uh and then looks like we got some wireless earbuds over here and both his monitors are connected to a central point a stand that's adjustable that's really neat nice little setup um and then yep the desk again and then the tower now the tower reminds me of a core a cooler master tower Let's see if we can get a better shot here. Yeah, so Cooler Master Tower is what this looks like. Don't quote me on that. We got some Cooler Master fans, RGB fans, Cooler Master AIO. Uh, we got memory that looks kind of mixed match. Is there only three sticks of memory in there? Um, and then this looks like a B550 or 450 motherboard. So I have the same board, but it's the B450. Um and it isn't, excuse me, it's not the, it's not a micro ATX. It's a, it's a full size ATX board. You really got that card down there. This is the RTX 2080 at the very bottom of the case. Not much airflow you're getting in there, but if you're just doing editing, not really intensive gaming or intense workloads, it's not going to be that big of a deal or an impact. Um, but I definitely would something, and, and I can understand why they swapped it. Cause they probably are, again, are focusing more on editing their content, recording, live streaming, uh, video capture than they are gaming and stuff like that. The, the GPU is really primarily being used for the NVEC encoder for editing. So, well, may not be a big deal considering what their workloads are. I do consider that a big deal. I would like to see that in the primary slot or at least the secondary slot so it's getting its full, it's able to use the full lanes of the PCIe. Uh, but if the, if the motherboard doesn't allow the Elgato or the capture card to perform at its max, I can see why they swapped it. Uh, possible uh, motherboard, CPU, and memory upgrade would be recommended if you at least keep the GPU. Now, these Corsair CX750 mother, uh, power supplies aren't the best, but they will get the job done. 750 watts, considering the specs in the system here, perfectly acceptable for their day-to-day. -day. Now, with hobbyists, uh, we're going to have to put them a little bit lower because of where the GPU is. Um but i do like the aesthetics of their overall setup or their overall desk uh configuration so we're going to put them in the b tier but a hobbyist is one of my favorites nothing but respect and love uh but that's where they're going to go for today's just for the system that they have as well as uh again the gpu being down in the bottom spot mix match memory uh if you're only going to run two sticks or or you know four sticks um, you know, just stick with the two uh, until you get matching pairs. Usually mismatch memory can also impact performance, but it may not matter, again, because of the use case that they're using it for. Nice little safe down there in the bottom, uh, but everything else is looking good. Got the wireless mouse for the laptop that's on the left, uh, but then got the main gaming mouse as well. Speakers was another key point that I hit on. Uh, we got a closer picture here. We can see, get a heat sink on the M.2. I'm glad I put you in the B tier. Uh, get a heat sink on an M.2. If anything, um, you know, maybe get a upgrade when you upgrade your motherboard memory and see there's only three sticks of memory. We need to get one more in there, hobbyists. If not, get the matching pair. We always want to run sister pairs uh, dual for dual channel memory. Uh, but yeah, get a heat sink on that. Move that that 2080 up. And if this won't, this motherboard won't allow you to do it, maybe consider upgrading the motherboard. Um, and obviously, when you upgrade your motherboard, you're basically upgrading everything. Uh, and get this GPU or a GPU in the top slot. But for the use case, I completely understand. Now, here is max voltage. Um, simple setup. Uh, a man after my own heart. Very knowledgeable. Very technical. Got the blue uh, microphone. Same microphone I'm using. And uh, that isn't as good as a Shure mic. I completely understand. I believe these are for audio management or control. 
Not entirely sure. Got some cute ornaments on here on the table, uh, making notes uh, about where he needs to do, what he needs to work on. Monitoring the rigs as usual while talking to me. They were submitting everything. Now we got a huge light in the upper left here, as well as the camera. If I move out of your way, the camera, which is the again the Logitech C922 in the top right of the monitor, uh, pointing down. So just in case you know if, if you know when he's not using it, it's not looking at him. Now I'm not sure 100% if this is the Sony ZV1 camera. It does look like it, but it could be a different type of Sony device. Uh, again, mounted to the desk, so if he bumps the desk while live streaming, uh, that can obviously impact them. Got the nice chump change, misfit mining, uh, mouse pad, and a Razer wireless mouse. I don't like wireless mice uh, for gaming purposes, but for day-to-day -day purposes, perfectly fine. Uh, especially wireless technology, especially wireless mouse or mice have gotten so much better that the latency is not as bad. So that's their overall setup. Simple, simplistic clean nothing too crazy love the max voltage chair uh, i'm not sure who made that for you i'm sure you talked about it on a previous episode of uh you know of with the gang um but really nice uh simple setup gets the job done which is what they need got three monitors and here is their computer a little bit blurry but it's okay we got matching memory uh, once again we got the ek aio uh it looks like a either 240 or 280 uh millimeter rad uh, then we have a GeForce, I believe this is the 3080 413. Um, I should have pulled up the specs before I started this show, but we're just looking at the aesthetics, the environment, and the configuration of these guys in. Now, Max Voltage doesn't have the most elaborate setup that is going to take away from points, um, but I don't want to discount them because their system is rock solid. Uh, as far as what it needs to do and what they need to do. Could do a little bit better cleaning up with these uh, random cables back here, Max. Uh, we got looks like we got a random um, PCIe power cable. Cable management's key. Uh, not all cases allow you to like you know hide stuff. We also got some more PCIe cables just kind of like sticking out below the 24 pin. Kind of cable manage that a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the it's blurry because of the camera or maybe the uh, the the window needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Not nice little dusting will help out. But overall, uh, let's go ahead and rate Max their setup again, considering simplicity, what their need, their needs are, and what they're trying to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Max as well in the B or C. We're probably gonna put him in between B or C. Uh, points off for. Uh, cable management and stuff like that but again nothing but love for these guys we're just having a good time uh you guys will make fun of my setup here in just a minute so we're gonna put max in the the bc arena and let's move on to our next individual so our next one on the list here we have is mine something mine something show me their mining setup i said no sir show me your computer setup uh, this looks like a NZXT case. Yes, it is NZXT right here in the front. NZXT case. We do not have three fans going from top to bottom. It's only the two up front. Uh, this looks like uh, I want to say this reminds me of a G, uh, an Oris 3070. We got a basic cooler, but it does get the job done. The Hyper Evo 212 Cooler Master, uh, you know, heatsink is one of the best. I love that memory. That memory, that white memory matches the actual NZXT case to innards. Uh, pretty good. Uh, considering the way NZXT is kind of pushing their clients to route their cables, I can understand this. Um, it could be a little bit cleaner. Not all of us are, are, you know, have the money to where we can just go and buy custom cables from cable mods. Uh, but this could be a little bit cleaner. So points off on that. Uh, we're rocking two sticks of memory. At least it's not mix matched. Uh, I would like to see all four dims populated, but as you're going to see with my system and Hawk, which we are both freshly in the 7000 series or freshly upgraded, we do not have all four dims populated. But definitely points off for the cooler. Could be a little bit better. We got some room up here, but this is that case that only has one uh, 120 mil spot up top. So the only way to put a radiator would be towards the front. And he's got two fans up there instead of three. So I put a nice little rad there, get an AIO. I know everybody goes liquid cooling. No fan in the back, mind something. Uh, so I'm definitely going to, unfortunately, take points off for that. Um, but here is their setup, rocking the blue microphone. 
got the wooden Thanos hand, I guess you could say, holding the headset. Uh, we got some Star Wars, um, you know, merch sitting around here. Again, Star Wars in the mouse mat. If we look here, we got some of the Stormtroopers. Beautiful lightweight mouse, as you see, a common theme amongst my friends and my colleagues. Corsair keyboard. I believe that's the little brother of what I have. Um, yeah, that's the little brother of what I have. Uh, a single monitor, an Acer monitor, and then I think these are just some uh, lower tier uh, Logitech speakers, I want to say, or or not sure. So speakers, not all that good, but it, it, again, not a big problem. Then we got the wireless cam, or not the wireless cam, but we got the webcam right here. I don't see a camera that they use 24-7. Um, so yeah, yeah. So they got another system over here that looks like an RTX. There's an NVIDIA's Founders Edition card right here. Um, not sure what it's doing, but I remember that case. That's a Corsair case. So pretty nice. But uh, we're going to rank mine something in the same arena as Max Voltage. Probably more likely. And, and again, do not take any of this as a slight. Uh, whatsoever to my fellow content creators and individuals uh, but we're probably going to put them more in the c tier uh, than anything and this is not this is just so you heard some of the critiques that i mentioned but there are critiques that i'm going to be getting hit with, with do, just looking at my setup so bear with me nothing but respect and love now here's all your favorite content creators the one you really came here to see red panda mining Got the Dr. Pepper up front. Look at that. Dr. Pepper chilling. Got that same sound management board that we saw Chump Change and Hawk have. Uh, the keyboard is missing the num locks um, or the number pad. Looks like we got an external SSD or NVMe drive. No, that's an SSD. Doesn't have the case on it, though. Just chilling there. I can see the memory chips. Um, got the light speed Logitech mouse. I think this is a blue microphone as well. It could be a Sure, just a different setup. Um, and then we got the, again, the two landscape, one portrait monitor setup looking really good. Like the little Helio effect. And the wood on this desk is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And he's got a UPS. So he's got a, a power supply uh, to back up or power surge protector as well to back up everything in case power goes out. Looks like we got a printer and everything down there. I don't know what you print unless you're trying to print money, Red Panda. Uh, but yeah, he's trying to print money. Look at him. Money printer go burr. Look at him. Look at him. Um, but yeah, nice little setup down there. This looks like a mini server rack right here. Maybe the network switch um, box. That surge protector is definitely full to the brim. And I mean, it's a really nice setup. Uh, so the mic is once again mounted to the desk. Uh, the arm is not the blue arm, but it looks very familiar. Um, and if you bang into that, you will have obviously impacts on your audio. Where is the camera red? I do not see the camera. No camera on this setup. I guess this is in his recording section. Plus he wouldn't be looking at himself while recording. He would be recording or pointing the camera at whatever he's doing. So understandable SD card reader, as well as an Octaminer mouse pad. Nice, nice. So moving on. What else do we got? All right, before we move on to that, that was it for Red Panda Mining. The next one is Seb Fintech, as you just saw. So where would you put Red Panda Mining? Where would you put Red Panda Mining? Sound off in the comments down below. But I'm going to go ahead and put Red, not because they're famous, but I'm going to go ahead and put Red in. Points off for Dr. Pepper, even though I know people are going to hate me for that. I really wanted to focus on the system. This looks like an EVJ for the win, 3 RTX 3080 Ti, Corsair AIO. We got all three fans populated up front, which is what I would have wanted mine something to do. Uh, all fan slots populated as well. Uh, there might be one missing in the back, but he's got a, all three more up top. AIO, um, he's making sure he's got consistent power, clean power, and then he's got an even server rack down here, but points off for the money printer, go burr and a Dr. Pepper. Um, and even though he's not recording himself, there should have been, s I wanted to see their camera, but we're not, we're not going to be able to see that. So we're going to put red Panda in a with Hawk. 
So right now, Chump Change is in S tier, baby. Moving on to Seb Fintech. Seb Fintech all the way across the pond. Got a good lighting system right here uh, for, for My Nation Control. Nice camera. Hang on. Move out of your way here, guys. Uh, a good Sony camera back here. I believe this is a DLSR camera as well. Uh, we got his open air bench system. All right, so we got a 3070 back here. We got the stock Ryzen, uh, the top tier Ryzen air cooler. And just a basic motherboard for his needs to do what they need to. They can easily pick this up by the handle, move it. Got a light bar, which these light bars are pretty good. I, I know a lot of photographers that use them for light painting. Um, we got a like light bulb set right back here. And this this backspace or this back area looks really neat. Desk is not adjustable, um, and the desk and the, the, the chair is basic, uh, not basic, but executive level chilling. So not bad, not bad. Looking pretty good. We got a single monitor only, but that may be perfect for their needs. I would like to see, uh, you know, a dual monitor set up for, for, for Seb to make sure that they, they have all the information in front of them. The light bar is kind of being held up by a monitor stand or minor, monitor arm. If you look at that real quick, pretty cool. Uh, the There's a light or this box uh, best view over the camera lens to give it that extra pop. You can understand why the quality uh, content that Seb produces is just outstanding. Here's the light bar. This might be a remote for the light bar or the light in general. That's right down here. And then here's a little light that I lamp or light bulb stand I was looking at. Really cool. Looks antique. Um, or kind of reminisced of, of the, the olden days uh, when, you know, people were, were new to electricity. We really take advantage of what we have around us and the beautiful things around us. But yeah, Seb, uh, basic setup, nothing too crazy, uh, simplistic, uh, minimalist, but gets the job done. Oh, no, that's uh, Best View is their uh, teleprompter. There you go. If you want to know how Seb is using or being able to type out their videos and read to you, they're using Best View for their teleprompter. There's some good information. Uh, I would like to see a better system, even if it is portable, at least a better motherboard. This is a micro ATX motherboard. I'd like to see a better one in here. Uh, considering the cooler is perfectly, uh, it's perfect for what it's doing. You could get a lighter cooler, Seb. Uh, that cools better than the stock AMD, you know, whatever the top uh, CPU cooler is. That's much lo more low profile, uh, saving you weight if you do like to move this around a lot. This looks like an EVJ 850 power supply, perfect for his needs. Probably a, 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 uh, a modular design or, or partially modular where the 24 pin and, and CPU pin aren't uh, disconnectable, but the rest are. Uh, but no, very, very good job. Uh, so before we move on, we're going to put Seb as well in the A tier. Probably going to be the A, B tier because of uh, the non-dual monitor setup and um, the non-adjustable desk. The desk is very slim. But it, it is, it is you know, it is good for for their needs. It is good for their needs. So Seb... They're going in that, that B tier with hobbyists as well. And let's move on. Again, you can dispute these in the comments down below. Let me know. Here's the video of Seb's actual setup. Got the light bar in the background. We're getting a close-up look. Now, this is a different GPU than what we saw in the picture. If you look very carefully, this is a completely different GPU. Might have just done it for the glam. Uh, but it is a completely different GPU. That's a 3070. While the one we see in the video might actually be a, it looks like an MSI Trio or Supreme uh, that is probably a 3080. Not entirely sure. Now, here we have moved on to my system, Serpent X Tech. Go ahead. Get me for all the cable management that I ain't doing. Do it. I can take it. It's okay, guys. So, only dual, mo uh, dual memory, uh, fresh 7000 series build. Cable management is ferocious, ferocious. I know the case isn't the best. I got a lot of thermistors all over the place. I got thermistors in the back on the VRM. I got thermistors in the front behind the fans. Um, you know, the cable for this AIO, which is the older H100 uh, or H150i Pro RGB, it's the older one. That's one of the things I hate about the AIO is you got not only the USB cable that you got to route, 
but you also have this other cable that comes off to where you can control the fans or the fan speeds you can see i'm using a splitter as well so i mean if you're looking directly at it it looks good but if you're looking in it it doesn't look as good the cables are all over the place need to dust points off for that points off for cable management you can see i because this motherboard lost the dr debug led that i am using a speaker cable now uh, which kind of sucks because the X570 board had the Dr. Debug LED to where I could see those errors. Now I have to listen for those errors. So that's taking points points off because that's clashing horribly with the system. K ketchup and mustard, never again. Uh, also, the power supply, while I do love EVGA, this one looks like spaghetti noodles, whereas the Silverstone power supply, the 1200-watt power supply, uh, compared to the 1000-watt that's in here now due to the lightning strike, uh, just looks horrible, right? They got pigtails coming off of it, but it does give me extra room to connect multiple GPUs. It's just unfortunate I can't do anything with those pigtails in there. We got a 7900 XTX, 7950 X CPU, and then a B650 uh, Oris motherboard clean. I got Noctua 3000 RPM fans up front, which is some of the noises you hear, and then uh, the LL series Corsair fans uh, all around. Now, here is my desk. Yes, it is all wood. All wood, baby. We got the Gamers Nexus mouse mat. We got the Corsair, um, the K100 RGB keyboard. We got the, I believe it's not the Harpoon. I forgot what mouse this is. But I got one of the mice that fits. It's ergonomic. It fits my wrist. Got the Xbox controller chilling. Got the USB hub. Got a little bit better speakers than what we saw from our colleagues like Mind Something or the Hobbyist Miner. Got my work laptop. Got a dollar store lamp with USB and wires. We got the Logitech Brio chilling on top of the monitor to the left, as well as my little light. And you can see the blue microphone kind of chilling in the background. But this desk is very important to me because my daughter, my daughter who passed away at the age of three, uh, one day got into her mom's little uh, nail polish and decided to draw something. So on my desk is something to remind me of my precious daughter. It looks really good at night, especially with that lamp off. RGB Gamers Nexus Cube, RGB behind me, RGB on the keyboards. It's not too much, but it is tasteful. Yes, I could add the RGB mouse mat, but it is perfectly fine. Once again, we got the Sony ZV-1, um, what is it, camera? I don't know why I can't move, but we got the Sony ZV-1 camera at the top here. We got the blue microphone and blue stand, uh, you know, stand for the microphone. You can't see the router, but it's right behind it. That is a spaghetti noodle trap as well. Uh, but I didn't put a hole in the wall to where I could run it down because not everybody sees that. And then here is it. Stand up. Respawn chair. Cheap chair at Sam's Club. Don't give a damn. It takes care of my rear end and I'm good to go. I could sit here for hours and play some games. Well, maybe not hours, but a good portion of the day. So where would you rate this system? Let's see here. Where would we put this system? Hmm. This overall setup. I'm going to say on the tier list, I'm going to be in the B category along with my buddies Seb and Hobbyist Miner. I'm going to get myself a B, could clean up those cables, could get rid of that, uh, whoops, could get rid of that ketchup and mustard uh, looking thing, uh, the speaker wire, and definitely could have a better computer chair. And also, if you didn't catch it because I didn't say it, mix match mon monitors. Oh. I know that drives people crazy. And I left the stickers on it. Oh, doesn't that just trigger you? Oh, my God. It just triggers, triggers, triggers. All right. So that is it for my setup. It does power. It does run, baby. It better run good, baby. Mm-hmm. It run good, baby. Now, last but not least, three Fox. Oh. We got an EVJ 750 G2. It looks like we have a gigabyte. RX 6700 XT, I want to say. That's what that looks like to me. We got the Ermax AIO. Ooh, is that the good one or is that the bad one? Remember, these get caked up. Only two sticks of memory like some of us. Um, this does look like, I want to say, it doesn't remind me of 7000 series motherboard. So I don't think it's a B650 or B670. X670. I think it's a B550 or X570. It reminds me of the X570. Just because of the number of PCIe slots and NVMe. I could be wrong. Uh, we got the Corsair RGB mouse map. But look at that. It's just that nice little light across the bottom right there. It's not the whole thing. Like we saw with Chump Change and Hawk. Uh, also, is that a Corsair keyboard? 
It looks like it, but I could be wrong. Get rid of that controller. No, 3 Fox Co. Get rid of it. Hide it. Put it in a drawer somewhere. Put it right there. Don't do that. So that means uh, Govi RGB lights are the best RGB lights out there. I think there's a few others that are just as good. But when you have these type of like little co RGB controllers uh, or the set, it can get super annoying. These controllers are silly, but I mean, it does control the lights and I guess it works. I just don't particularly like it. Anyways, clean setup. Uh, get rid of that controller. This is a thermal take uh, case. Uh, really good case. Um, don't mind the wires jump coming off the back. I know we're not all of us are freaking some of the other top tech tubers out there uh, that, you know, route cables a special way or into the desk or anything like that. Looks like we got the mic again on the, in like mounted onto the desk. It looks like uh, one Dell monitor would like to see a little bit more than that. And this is that really does remind me it's an Eagle though. Radeon Eagle. So it's if X. Uh, 5700 XT, maybe. Um, looks like an LCD. If I get out of your way here, it looks like an LCD screen or a lamp right here in the top right. Uh, then we got the USB ports and everything up front. Power button. Wi-Fi is just chilling up there on the top there. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. This might not be RGB. This might just be a static yellow line. So I could have been wrong about that. But it is a Corsair keyboard. So points off for this controller. Get rid of that. Points off for only having one monitor. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. Decent system. A lot of people like to build on these and then mount them on the wall, which I personally love. I have no qualms about that. It's really cool. Uh, and yeah, so again, mic connected to the desk. So if you bang or hit the desk, it's going to affect your quality. Uh, but not bad. Not bad. We got a nice little video from them here. Not too bad showing off the system. Now this, again, they're showing a different GPU in this B-roll than they were in the pictures that they sent me. So we want to focus on what they were rocking at the time they sent me those pictures. And I don't want, any, if I do any future content creators, I do not want you guys to clean up or anything like that. I want you guys to just take it and be real with the world. Yo, this is who I am. Deal with it. Love me for who I am or f*** off, okay? Because... I got nothing but respect and love for you. But this is a sweet little setup. I like how we got the lights on the system matching the desk. It looks really good. Cannot complain whatsoever. But there are going to be some points off. So where would we put the last user in this particular roundup? I hope to do more in the future. But we'll see how it goes. So 3 Fox Co., where would you go? Simple, sleek, good. Definitely would like to see more monitor. I didn't see any speakers, so you're probably using a headset. I'm going to go C tier. There is your list. Love it. Hate it. Criticize it. It does not matter. That is your tier list. I will post this on Twitter. You can go comment down below. You can go rate it on Twitter. You could disagree. You could agree. Either way, have nothing but love and respect for one another. Be kind to one another. And let's just enjoy and grow together. That is your tier list or your rankings of some of your favorite content creators in the crypto mining space. Do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one. Peace out.